Alrighty, y'all. How you going? Welcome back to some more police, emergency, fire trucks, that type of deal. I love these emergency vehicle videos. I love the police chase videos, fire response, all these different things. Very fascinating to see how it operates in different regions and countries around the world. Today, we're looking at somewhere quite new, uh, at least in this video space, we're looking at the UK. Alrighty, uh, police cars, fire trucks, and ambulances responding across the UK is from a channel called Cobra Emergency. Looks like an awesome channel, so make sure to use the link down below so you can watch this whole video uninterrupted. And of course, check the channel out. And this comes to us, this suggestion, uh, from actually a super thanks comment uh, from Elliot Ogben. So thank you so much, Elliot. Let's take a look. Ooh, starting up the Scania fire truck. That's nice. Scottish Fire and Rescue Service. Cool. I love the red and highlighter yellow. Notice it had all blues. Remember, I, I like to observe things like this right away. Uh, even regular traffic. Look at this Isuzu Craftster. Is that what it's called? <laughs> cool. Oh, Volvo police car. Nice. Cool livery on the UK cars. Lots of high visibility, um, I can see, is the aim, I think, with these cars. Looks like a Hyundai electric car, yeah? Mercedes Actros. And a McDonald's. <laughs> Here's an ambulance. Weird cadence. Very high visibility. It looks cool, though. What, um, God, you got to forgive me because I'm learning here. Ambulance, obviously, I know that. What language is that? Ambulance. Ambulines. I don't know. Interesting. Very cool looking vehicle, though. Like I said, all blues. It looks like they run all blues for the lights. Ooh, is that a Vauxhall? I think, I think that's a Vauxhall. I think some uh, Vauxhall products are very similar to U.S. products, but here it would just be our, you know, GM. So it would be Chevy, maybe uh, Buick, Cadillac, perhaps. Look at this Mitsubishi. Cool. Wow, even the U.K. has Mitsubishi small trucks. And uh, we used to here in America. Well, in the United States, I should specify. Now we don't. <laughs> We just don't have many Mitsubishis at all anymore. That's a cool looking police car. Wow. Oh, that's like an ambulance support vehicle. That one's really wicked looking. Red with, you know, high vis green and, and yellow. Love the lighting package. Funny thing, the sirens are really loud because I have this video turned halfway down. I don't even have it all the way up. Granted, I have headphones on, so everything sounds a little louder. That is a really loud siren, as it should be. Let me, let me you know, put that on the board. Of course, the siren should be loud. That's the point. It's to say, hey, everybody, listen up. Watch out. There's an emergency. We're coming through. But, yeah, these are exceptionally loud, I feel like, compared to some of the other sirens we've heard. It's interesting hearing the different siren sounds and cadences in different countries. That one's going pretty quick. That's a BMW station wagon or a state, I think some countries call them. Looks like a BMW as well. I do like the liveries on these UK ones. I gotta, I gotta admit. London Ambulance. Okay. So some of them were Scotland, it looked like. Now we're in London for this one. Very cool. Again, high vis colors. Zip car. What is that? Some sort of rental car? Yeah, very cool. 
I can appreciate all the differences we've seen so far. Remember in previous videos I've said that the Czech Republic has some really cool police cars. I do like theirs as well. But I gotta admit, these are really these are really nice. They're a little uh you know, visibly loud, crazy colors going on. Uh so some people might not like that. You know, some of the countries had a little, you know, let's say cleaner look or more subtle looking cars. I like these. And I think the reason being is because here in the USA, uh, unless, of course, it's a ghost unit or a unmarked unit, um, you know, most regular, you know, uh, police squad cars here in the U.S. are going to be pretty decorated. Some of them are more subtle than this, but they do have some colors. They do have some cool designs a, a lot of times and, you know, crazy lighting packages. And so they stand out from regular traffic. And uh, that's what I'm seeing here in the U.K., you see all these, you know, well, that's how it is nowadays. You see a lot of bland cars, right? Bland colors and, and cars that just kind of blend in with the environment. Uh, and then, of course, these emergency vehicles really stand out. And I think that's the goal with these is they're really colorful, really high-vis colors. And I actually like that, right? Like I said, some others have cleaner-looking cars, uh, but these really stand out. And they're quite colorful and loud-looking, but... It, I, I guess I prefer that. <laughs> I think they're neat. These UK ones are right at the top for me right now from what I've seen. I really like the way their emergency vehicles look. They're really neat. That was a very cool bus that we saw passing by. I love seeing all these vehicles. It's just like so different to me. Really cool fire truck. I didn't even pay attention to the brand. Hold up. That's a Mercedes. Okay. Tons of different brands, too. So that's one thing different. Of course, in the U.S., we have, you know, all the cop cars might look different, but they're all going to be the same. They're all going to be mostly Fords. I'd say, like, 70% Fords. And then a little bit of sometimes Chevy police cars and sometimes Dodge police cars. But uh, in a lot of these countries, especially the U.K. here, you're getting a lot of different cars. Vauxhalls, BMWs, Mercedes... Volvos. I like how they're station wagons. I think that's really neat. Seems practical, honestly. I saw it had a cage in back, I think. For prisoner or criminal transport. You know me, I love Scania, so uh, <laughs> always down to see a Scania. That's a cool four-door crew cab truck and then I've noticed that they use sirens coming up to intersections and then when he gets through sometimes they shut him off uh, I think you guys have mentioned that in comments it, de it depends on the situation and of course the country but that seems reasonable this is interesting it's like a pale yellow it's not like a bright yellow it's like a very faint almost a pastel yellow Loud siren. <laughs> oh, that's uh, Northern Ireland. This is a great video. We're getting everything here. Northern Ireland, which of course is part of the UK. Scotland, um, London, uh, England. I don't know if we've seen Wales yet. Forgive me if I, if I missed that. But uh, I like how we're seeing a variety too within the UK. Really, really cool. These, uh, is that like those, oh my God, what is this? Look at these weird cars. I'm, I'm like fanboying over just the normal cars. <laughs> we have a Renault Megane, which I've heard of. I don't know anything about because we don't have those here in the U.S. We have this funny like dune buggy in the middle of <laughs> England, which is really random if you ask me, but, uh, I like it. I like, I like the boldness of that person had that morning. And then is this the famous, like, in uh, what do you call these? London cabbies, English cabbies or, or cabs, taxis, London taxi. Now I'm, now I'm contradicting myself. I'm sure everyone is screaming at the uh, screen right now, <laughs> but yes, I see that right there. I would love to do a video on those sometimes, uh, because our famous American taxi is one of my favorite cars of all time. The Ford Crown Victoria was uh, one of our best taxis ever made. Of course, there's been other ones as well. But uh, that's, I guess, what you would call like an American equivalent of that. Uh, but yeah, I've seen 
these, of course, in, in culture, like movie and music videos and stuff. But I would actually like to learn about those at a future time. I don't know how I haven't done that by now. Those are very cool. Ooh, and look at this, even a Ford. Um, it, police. Now that's a cool siren. That, that wigwag. That's Metropolitan Police. This has CCTV fitted, very interesting. Cool looking van, actually. I actually like this one a lot. Excuse me there. I like the wigwags, sirens, that was cool. Wow. Oh, and look at the double-decker buses. I'm seeing tons of iconic vehicles in here. Very cool. <laughs> Got a Scania fire truck as well. Yes, another one. They're all kitted out in their outfits. South Wales, that says, so uh, perhaps we have covered all of the UK now, I think. Very cool. Very excellent camera. Cobra emergency uses here. Very impressed by the camera work. Look at that. Okay, see? That is wild. That is way more flashy than even an Amer any American police vehicles I've seen. Really dig that. I really dig that. I will say, uh, I failed to mention earlier, some of our ambulances do go for this kind of look, the almost like checkered fluorescent colors like that. So uh, perhaps some of our ambulances have uh, let's say, you know, been inspired by or copied. I don't know what you want to go for there, but <laughs> hey, they have kind of copied this look. Uh, not our police cars, but our ambulances. Of course, our fire trucks are always, you know, gold and red or white and red or pure white. Some of them are even like fluorescent green. Uh, but so those are more, I guess, uh, a little bit different. But yeah, this is very interesting seeing a Volvo with this kind of look to it. It's a nice SUV. I don't know if that's a Volvo... God, what is this called? I'm not a Volvo expert. Maybe like an XC90 or something they're called. But uh, that is a really cool vehicle. I, I dig it. I dig it, personally. <laughs> Way different looking than a civilian one, you know? And then I always ask for specs um, and stats. So anyone want to weigh in on, in this case, these UK emergency vehicles? Are these modified in any sort of way? These look pretty civilian other than the crazy colors, just in the fact that uh, other than light bars and, of course, the vinyl or paint, whatever, uh, decals and such, you know, it does look like it has these stock bumpers. It looks like it has stock wheels. You know, of course, you, you know that our American cop cars are pretty modified. They have different suspension, uh, heavy-duty, thick, steely wheels. Uh, you know, push bumpers, all these different things that they add, external oil coolers, transmission coolers, uh, you know, things like that, heavy-duty radiators. So, yeah, any stuff like that you would like to weigh in on, uh, especially in the U.K. here, please be my guest. But you know what? This video has a couple minutes left. We're going to end it there, so if you'd like to see the whole thing, please... Uh, of course, use a link down there. Check them out from Cobra Emergency. And again, thank you for that super thanks, Elliot. Great recommendation. Uh, I am enjoying this series so much uh, that we are diving into emergency vehicles across, well, across the world, quite frankly. I've done a little bit of Australia in the past. Uh, would like to do more, of course, in any region uh, down that way. And, of course, we have covered just a little bit of Europe. We're, we're getting there. I'm going to cover a lot. So I'm really open to suggestions. Uh, again, the police chase videos are doing really well. Just reacting to and, and seeing these emergency vehicles from different countries for the first time. These are really fun. They're doing well. And, of course, anything else in this space, you know, fire responses, ambulance responses, stuff like that. I really, really like these videos. And I, I certainly hope you liked this one too. If you did, throw a thumbs up on there. Subscribe to be part of this amazing, growing community. Stay safe out there on the streets. Get out of the way when these emergency vehicles need to get somewhere to hopefully save a life. My name is Ian. You watch the Night Every Rocker. Until next time, y'all. Catch you later.